With the first pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Kyrie Before I came to do, Coach um, told me to prepare to run, and um, you know that's he knew that's where our best fit, our offense could be, kind of centered around not me specifically, but all of our strengths. And you know we were running up and down, throwing alley oops. That kind of made it really exciting for people to watch us on TV. This is a diaper daddy, man. This guy is a big time star. He has explosiveness. He defends. Are you serious? Well, Duke and Coach helped me make um, you know that transition and that decision to go to NBA that much easier, just based on the knowledge that I was given in in one year. Um, you know, before I came here, you know, I was kind of a raw player just mentally, and um, you know, being here, the, the mental aspect of being a Duke basketball player and going out there every single night, you have an X on your on your back, then um, you know that's something I have to get used to for the rest of my life. Coming to Duke, I didn't choose to be one and done. It just kind of just happened. And, you know, I really wish I was here longer just to get, you know, just the social life and be around Coach more just to attain more knowledge. Um, you know, I was his freshman point guard, and I had to lead the team along with Colin Nolan. And he put his trust in me to lead, you know, a great team. And that's kind of like why my relationship with Coach K is so special and why I'll continue to grow throughout my life. Because, you know, that relationship in the beginning and when he allowed me to play in the NCAA tournament, trust me when I wasn't even 100%. You know, I just showed that he had the utmost trust and, you know, I love him for that. What separates Duke from other schools is just love and, and trust and the brotherhood that came before me is still in existence today. You know, Coach Collins is on the staff, Coach Wojo, Coach Capel, Coach James, all those coaches played for Duke. It just shows you the relationships last a lifetime here. Look at that crossover, electric. The, the people here love you. Uh, you know, I don't know what school, you know, has as better fans than we do. And I still get chills watching my past game here at Cameron. When I was making my decision um, about going to the NBA, uh, coach just really told me just to, um, you know, whatever, whichever way I decided just to go full on, whether it was to stay at Duke or whether it was to go into the NBA, I couldn't have any regrets. Um, with any decision that I made. It was the right decision for me and my family, and he understood that. To me, going one and done, I still have the same relationship, and it's still special to me. I um, mean, that's never going to change for me. Irving trying to break down Big Al Spinner. Oh, my. That's oh a my. That's, that is a Houdini shot. Spins in traffic and gets a layup with 2.6 on the clock. Big time shot by Kyrie Irving. Really proud to be a Blue Devil, and I'm a Blue Devil for the rest of my life. He's as good a rookie as I've seen. You can see why Mike Krzyzewski said, hey, go play with the big boys. This is Andy Katz from ESPN, and you're watching Duke Blue Planet.